Hello, my name is Dan, and I'm one of the many employee investors here at Greg Distributors. Today, we're going to talk all about seals. Did you know seals prefer cold sea waters and are mainly found in the Arctic Dan, and... Dan, wrong seals. Oh, wait. I'm talking about the wrong type of seal. I definitely meant to say SKF wheel seals. Keeping your bearings functioning smoothly is key to keeping your fleet on the road. Making sure contaminants such as water, road salt, and dirt don't get into your bearings is one of the best ways to protect them and extend their life. Bearing failure results in downtime, lost profits, and potential safety risks. However, preventative components such as wheel seals and hubcaps can help keep your bearings and your assets safe. A wheel seal and a hubcap both have the same job. Keep contaminants from outside of the hub cavity out and keep lubricants in. However, they are located in two very different places in your wheel assembly. A wheel seal is located in the bore of your wheel, or the center hole that attaches to the hub, while a hubcap is on the exterior and acts as the first line of defense against contaminants. Any good seal or hubcap will help to reduce the wear and tear that can occur on your bearings. However, these SKF Scott seals and hubcaps are designed with so much more in mind than just protecting your bearings. SCOTS stands for Self-Contained Oil Type Seal. And there are two main types of SCOT seals that we carry here at Greg's. The Classic and the Plus XL. Both are compatible with most lubricants. The Classic is coated with a water-based acrylic sealant called Bortite, which is used on the outside edge of the seal to compensate for any small imperfections that the bore may have, all while helping to provide a positive seal. The one-piece design includes a primary sealing lip, dirt lip, bumper lip, and spring lip to keep contaminants out of the system and keep lubrication in. This reliable and dependable seal has trillions of road miles to its credit through SKF's extensive in-house testing and is sure to provide a long service life. But before you install your new Scots Classic, first use a hub oil seal puller to remove the old one. It should also be noted that the classic seal does require a special tool for installation, but we've got you covered for everything you need here at Greg's. First, put the installation tool together. Then place your Scott's classic seal on the hub. Next, holding the tool handle straight, drive the seal with firm hammer strokes until it is squarely seated. Continue driving the seal onto the hub until the sound of impact changes, as this indicates metal-to-metal -metal contact and lets you know that the seal has bottomed out on the bore. Now be careful. After hearing this sound, you do not want to strike again, as you could damage the seal, the hub, or your bearing. Finally, Check for freedom of movement by manually moving the sealing element up and down and ensure the inner bearing turns easily. Use some caution with these steps, as 90% of premature wheel bearing failures are the result of improperly installed wheel seals. This can lead to lubrication leaks and serious damages. But why does this happen? Well, 
The tools can be heavy and difficult to control, and their size and weight can exert great force on the seal, even when properly aligned. These tools also tend to get damaged over time or get lost and misplaced, leaving you to improvise. Different tools for each seal and for each manufacturer is also a major recipe for disaster. That's why SKF created the Scots Plus XL. The Scots Plus XL is considered a premium seal as it offers not only better contaminant exclusion, but also longer service life in rugged environments, like our harsh Canadian roads. The Plus XL features a wave seal design that helps sweep oil back to the bearings. Similar to the Classic, it has four key inner components. The bumper lip, two exclusion lips, a primary sealing lip, and two grease packs. So you know, the Plus XL definitely seals the deal. As an added bonus, the Plus XL is designed to handle lubricants and high heat applications up to 150 degrees Celsius. And the Scots Plus XL is the only heavy duty seal that doesn't require special tools since it can be installed by hand or gently tapped in place with a rubber mallet. To install the Scots Plus XL seal, lightly lubricate the inside and outside of the seal. Don't worry, you can use the same grease with both the bearing and the seal. Then, press down on the seal evenly. Just make sure you are applying an even driving force to avoid tilting or damage. Once the seal is evenly seated and bottomed out in the bore, check to make sure that both the seal and the bearing turn smoothly. After that, Simply wait a few minutes to let the rubber settle before reinstalling the hub assembly. Having your hub caps properly installed can also help extend the life of your bearings. SKF hub caps have heavy duty durability and are compatible with most common oils and greases, including the latest synthetics. They also act as a vent that releases excess air whenever there is a rise in air pressure through actions such as braking. But how do you determine which hub cap you need? It's actually simple. Just count the number of mounting holes you require. And measure the diameter of the bolts, also known as the bolt circle. With these measurements, you can easily find the correct SKF hubcap. Even when you use all of the preventative components I've mentioned, bearings can still fail. Here at Greg Distributors, we carry an extensive inventory of tapered wheel bearings directed toward the heavy duty fleet market. So, if you ever need a replacement, just ask one of our helpful 100% Canadian customer service staff members. Now, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know in the comments section down below. Or you can visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, I'm Dan, and thanks for getting your bearings with me here on Gear Up With Greg's. Canada all the way, eh? <laughs>